Oh, well, hello there. Welcome back, Mad Army. And in today's episode, that's right, we've got a mystery box from Italy that was sent to me by my man Mirko. Yes, Mirko the Great. And as always, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, Mirko, for helping this channel out and supporting me. He has now taken over the top supporter for The Outer Middle Show. So if you guys would kindly, in the comment section, give him a lot of thanks and a lot of love. I cannot wait to open this box. Let's check it out. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> God, look at this box, bro. It did get a little beat up. It's not too bad. I gotta, I gotta try to talk into the mic here. I had this problem last time. All right, man. Let's bust out the knife. Oh shit! Where is my knife? Ah, I found it. Oh, oh, oh God! What could it be? This is my tactical flip knife, bro. Oh yeah, EMT all the way. Cut into it. One side, the middle. Hopefully there's a Ferrari in here, or a Lamborghini. Ah, holy crap, that's a lot of newspaper. Check out all the newspaper. Oh my God, what is this? It's tightly wrapped. Now there should be a letter in here somewhere. Oh my God, there's a lot of paper in here. Whoa. Okay, this is gonna take a lot of dissecting. Let's just do one thing at a time like we did before. Ugh. Everything's individually wrapped. Lower the desk a bit. Oh yeah, what's this? Let's see how Italy compares to Canada. Holy shit, Canada. I, dude, I still have that box with some stuff in it. And those damn maple cookies. I was like, I gave them to my little girl and she was like, what is this? And I said, it's Canadian food. Go ahead, you can eat it all. <laughs> she ate every single bit of it. Oh, looks like we got some chocolate. Got some chocolate, Brie. Oh, man, dude. I have seen these before. These Lindor chocolates. Now, I don't know if we have latte, but this is latte, and these are my favorite, absolute favorite chocolates ever. Dope. Latte, huh? All right, let's move on to the next one. What do we have here? Oh wait, I found the letter. I found the letter, let's get to the letter. Dear Vlad, what you have here is a selection of excellent Italian products. You'll find more details attached directly on the containers. You'll probably need some bread to go with some of the things I sent you. Thank you for everything you do for us. You are just the best. Enjoy the food, lots of love and support, Mirko. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Mwah. Yeah, I kissed it. We got some chocolates. Let's see what we have in this little bottle. Oh, what is this? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Okay, it's got instructions on it. Sun-dried tomato pate. Sun-dried tomatoes, deeper in color, richer in taste, and more concentrated in vitamins and minerals. Mixed with some top quality virgin olive oil, garlic, chili peppers, and mint. Excellent with some toast or bread. That, my friends, is very interesting. I wish I could like really get it into focus. Pate di pomodorando secco? I can't speak Italian, I just can't. Pate di pomodoro secco. Awesome, I can't wait to try that. Okay, next box. Or bag, I should say. These look like chips, brick. Ooh, pew, pew, gusto. That they're chips. That's interesting. San Carlo. Can't wait to try those. Oh, looks like we got some cookies. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell is this? No way. These are called I can't even pronounce this. Melafolgi di Italiana. Dolce decora in Supreme CV Okay. Here's the instructions. Mela Fogli di Italiani, Itali Italia, Italia. Very famous Italian dessert, multiple layers of sugar, icing coated, puff pastry, glazed with apricot reduction on top. Holy shit. I cannot wait 
to dig into these, bro. Oh, that's so weird, man. I don't know what it is with the Canadian food. Like, when you open it, it just hits you with smell. But that's very tightly sealed, so. The packaging of Italian food is very good. you got to be shitting me. I see something in there I can't wait to get to. Okay. Next bag. It's a, it's a Nutella thing. I wonder if it's something we don't have here. It must have different ingredients. Now, I remember, and I, for, I, didn't, I didn't know this until like a day later, but Oyster sent me Kit Kats, and I was like, that's weird. We get Kit Kats here in the States. And she was like, no, it's completely different ingredients from the States. So maybe it's the same with this, Nutella. Because, dude, it's definitely not in glass, and this shit looks clean. And I know what Nutella tastes like, so I'll know whether or not this stuff is different. You used to eat Nutella all the time, bruh. Okay. Let's see what's up next. <laughs> this is fun. I love this shit. Uh, what is this? No way, dude. It's I I I say so. It's honey. It's like a weird type of honey. You know, I always wondered if like manuka honey came from Italy. I don't think it does. But I am a huge honey lover. And all honeys are different from around the world. Simply because they have different vegetation and whatnot. Honey is only made from what's available around. You got clover honey. I cannot wait. I cannot fucking wait. Comes with instructions. Dude, th all this food is... <laughs> my mouth is water and I cannot wait to dig into it. Oh my god. And I'm hungry too. Okay. Icesa I honey or Icesa honey? I don't know how you pronounce that. It could be said that Icesa honey is among the most expensive varieties on the market. It has an unobtrusive taste and you can consume greater amounts without having the sick feeling of overdosing, which comes after taking one to two spoons of other types of honey. Due to its low pollen content, no allergenic reaction are caused. I say a, I'm just gonna call it Isacia or I, Icacia honey purifies the liver. It acts as a diuretic and antimicrobial agent and is often defined as a natural antibiotic. I have heard of this before and I cannot believe I actually get to try this shit. Mirko, you might have to s send me a bunch of this shit. <laughs> I might even just pay you to send it. Hmm, oh man, I love honey, dude. Honey is king. Okay, we've got about three more bags. Oh my god, dude. These are very special items, man. Thank you so much for this. Le bruschette aglio e basilico. I don't know what these are. They look like little biscuits. You see? From Grand... From Grand Bon. Grand Bone. Okay, so they look like little crackers. You put like some olive oil on them or something. Yeah, I can see. You make these little treats in the back. I think the next video, video that I shoot... I'm not gonna have my green screen keyed out because a lot of this, a lot of the products on here, the damn background gets keyed out. I'll probably just set up a place to sit and do this next time. And if you guys want to send me something from your country, please do. I always love opening stuff and, and trying new things. It, it's really cool. What is this? What is this? It's a bottle of some sort. Ugh. Oh, dude, is this olive oil? This is, yes, this is extra virgin olive oil. It's called Olio Extra Virgin di Oliva. Fucking Italian olive oil. All right, I'm gonna put this on the crackers, bro. Hell, I might put everything on those crackers. Boy, the Italians know what they're doing. Here, a lot of people live long in Italy, good old Italy. Extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is the highest quality and most expensive olive oil classification. It's made simply by crushing olives and extracting the juice. It is the only cooking oil that is made without the use of chemicals and industrial refining. It can be described as fruity, bitter, and pungent. Excellent as a dressing, not recommended as a frying oil. I love olive oil. I put olive oil on every damn thing, dude. This is great. I love this. I'm gonna put some on those crackers, dog, for show. Sure. Look at the bottle. Here, let me show you the bottle. Man, that looks so different from what we have here. Like. I know it's kind of hard to see inside, but I'm looking inside and it doesn't look... I mean, it looks like it's just straight crushed and thrown in there, like with no processes. I'm going to open this bitch up. The finest of olive oils, bro. Olive oil is also good when you have your lady over. 
you know, and you guys just want to get a nice sheen on your body, just rub olive oil all over you. It's good for your skin, and it brings out the sheen, bro. I gotta smell this. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I've never smelt an olive oil like that, and I've smelt a lot of olive oil. Hmm. It's more, it's really fruity. Usually olive oil here isn't, doesn't smell like this. I'm very curious as to how this tastes. I know they always said olive oil has a fruity taste. I'm like, no, it don't. This smells fruity. All right. One more bag. I want to get it open, man, because I want to start eating this shit. Oh, I'm so excited. Everything seems to be intact. Did a good job on shipping, my friend. Packaging, I should say. Whoa. Now, I don't think I've seen... I think this is Balls vinegar or balsamic vinegar, whatever you want to call it. Look at this bottle, man. Italian, man. They know how to dress something up, dude. Yep, balls... I can't say this. Balsamic vinegar of Medina. Considered the most expensive type of vinegar, it's pronounced from the must of fermented grapes. Fermented grapes. With the addition of aged vinegar and wine vinegar. Then matured in wood barrels for years before being sold. Perfect as a salad dressing. You'll only need a small amount. I gotta smell this. Okay, that's everything. Well, wait, nope, we got one more. What is this? How'd I miss this? Candy bark spray? These are candy barts. Everything's so refined. You know what I mean? It's like there's a lot of love put into this stuff. That's why I love the, I love Italians, man. They really know what the fuck they're doing. Okay, yeah, this is chocolate. This is called Madica Chocolate Vanilla and Chili Peppers. What? Cold pressed si si Sicilian chocolate. Okay, yeah, cold pressed Sicilian chocolate, grainy and crumbly. It never goes over 40 degrees during the process stage, with 98% of sugars, crystals still intact. Yeah, this is fucking nuts, man. Pepper. That must be damn good for circulation, because I know cocoa or cacao powder in dark chocolate is one of the best antioxidants you can put in your body, and it's really good for releasing nitrous oxide in the body, which is good for circulation. And the second best thing are chili peppers. And it's almost like, here they are, two in one. Oh shit, there's another kind. Okay, so there's a, he gave me a vanilla bean one and a pepper one. That is, that is too cool, man. Made in Italy. I, I wanna try this pepper shit. All right, man, let's start, let's start trying everything. Look at this packaging. Look at that, man. That is insane. It's got royal lines on it and shit. I'm a little, I'm a little afraid but I think I'll be all right. Whoa. Whoa. The smell. Damn, look at these big ass chocolates. You can tell that this is, this is legit. All right, here we go. That is like nothing I've ever tasted in my life. That is like nothing I have ever tasted. Whoa. It's not solid chocolate. It's like crystallized or something. The inside is really crystallized. Holy shit. And it's spicy. That is delicious, man. Whoa. That is something else. That is something special, dude. That's like the Ferrari of chocolate. I can't explain this. Dude, that is a treat. Thank you so much for this. That's scary good. Holy crap. That's like a Lamborghini in my mouth. I got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this down, bro. I'm gonna put that down. That is un, that is mind-blowingly good. Holy crap. Oh, my body's like, please put more in there, bro. Let's try the vanilla. Chili peppers. Peppers in chocolate. And it's delicious. I cannot fucking explain that. All right, man, vanilla. Let's open this. What in the fuck is this? Oh, dude, it's like it's so raw. Like it was actually. I mean, it look at it looks like a fucking brick. Texture and all. It doesn't look like super processed. It looks like it was hand fucking made. Oh god, I cannot wait. Oh whoa. Whoa. 
I'm gonna try not to go off the hinge on this shit. I, I, I could scream right now. This is so fucking good. I've never had chocolate like this. Ever. This is this is special. This is special, bro. Oh my god! I'm putting that back in the box. I'm gonna wrap it and duct tape it. Put that in a fucking treasure chest and bury it. Holy shit, that's good. I've never experienced anything like that. Like I said, here, like our chocolate is all, it's mostly milk chocolate. And it's super sweet, and yeah, it's good, but this isn't overly sweet. It's perfect. And it's got this texture to it that is just, I can't explain it. That is unbelievably good, bro. Let's move on to another chocolate. Let's go to these uh, Lindor Latte chocolates. I've never had the latte version of these, but I have I have tried a lot of Lindor chocolates. They're actually a big problem I had back in the day because <laughs> I ate way too many of them, but I've never had the latte. I've never seen the latte. Oh my God, my body's thanking me right now. If you've never had a Lindor chocolate, you're stupid. Mm. Oh, they explode in your mouth. And they're cold. What is up with that? The center is cold. Oh, my God. Oh. I want to fuck these chocolates, man. I've never had strong emotions towards chocolates. Now I'm, I understand why they say chocolates boost your endorphins and your mood. If I if we had chocolate like that in the States, nobody would be sad ever. I cannot believe what I just threw in my mouth. I've never had a, a Lindor chocolate taste like that. I've I said this in the last video. I want to sue the United States because what the whatever they're doing to our food, it, it sucks. It, it it really sucks. It's like it's like we eat food that's been on the shelf for like ten years. Like we're overstocked with the shit. This is all fresh. This is so good. But I've never in my life eat chocolate like that, ever. That's easily, easily the best chocolate I've ever eaten. That pepper chocolate, whoa. All right, man, let's move on to the chips. Italiano chips. Whoa, whoa. What the hell is that? Holy shit. Hero Gustos. I don't know what these are. I have no idea. <laughs> it doesn't have that over fattening sensation you get from regular potato chips. I think this was cooked in olive oil. Oli, vegetali. I have no idea, bro. But it's damn good. These are these are unbelievable chips. I love them. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. I'm not speaking. I'm not I'm not saying the same thing over and over. Let's try these crackers. Oh these little biscuits, bruh. Little cracker biscuits, bruh. Fuck my life, man. I don't like my life anymore. I'm moving I'm moving out of the States, dude. I can't I can't deal with this shit. I'm I'm a huge lover of food as you can tell by my face but i think i've been eating the wrong food my entire life that's so clean it tastes these biscuits taste so clean they're not over salty they don't make me feel that like when i eat american food especially something like that i immediately feel like shit like a crouton this is like a big crouton and it's just so fresh and clean man we're getting fucked we are getting fucked i'm gonna put some of this olive oil on there see what this tastes like oh oh it's soaked right in bro That's fruity. This olive oil tastes fruity. I've never tasted olive oil that's fruity. It's always like, it tastes like shit. That, that's the best olive oil I've ever eaten easily. Well, it is, it is Italian olive oil. So, I mean, what can you say? That's, that's fucking amazing. Holy shit. Wow. I'm probably gonna eat this whole bag of biscuits and just dump all this olive oil on it. That, that's fucking great. That is great. You know what? I wanna try these tomatoes, these sun-dried tomatoes. Oh my god, I love sun-dried tomatoes. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Alright, sun-dried tomatoes in a biscuit. Wow. 
What is that? What the fuck is going on in my life? Oh my god. Oh. Sun-dried tomatoes and Italian magic. Mmm. Mm, no wonder you guys live so fucking long, man. Mm. Wow. That is that is special. All this stuff is so special. <laughs> wow. My body, I, I don't think you understand, like, usually when I eat, my body's like trying to reject shit. Like, I get a stomach ache and I feel like shit. My body is screaming to put more of whatever the hell is in this shit in my body. My body is screaming. All, I promise you all this shit will be gone. This shit will be gone in a couple days, man. Easily. I'll even drink this shit. I want to smell it. I want to fucking smell it. Like, Canada was amazing. Great, like, smells and all the food. Everything was rich, fresh, and real maple-y. Everything had that maple hint to it. It was delicious. But Italian food is just refined. It, it fe All of it feels expensive and, like, it's quality. You know, it's like... It's like the opposite of, of Canada, but kind of in the same boat with quality. Just different ingredients. Like, I can't explain it. It's just refined and just perfect. Everything is perfect. All right, man. Balsamic vinegar. Oh, shit. Whoa. I want to put a little bit on a cracker. Balsamic. And you don't need a lot of this, man. I've, I've had balsamic vinegar before. All right, just put it on here. Just a dab. Ooh, that shit is black, bro. I've never seen it so rich. Dude, that shit is black. It's like oil. All right, let's try it. Whoa. Whoa. That is potent. That is really good. So much flavor, man. Mm. We're getting robbed, people. We're getting robbed. This, this is fucking delicious. I could I could just put this on crackers all night and eat it. Oh, the honey. Let's let's try the honey. I'll even put honey on one of them little biscuits, man. I don't care. This shit is good. After I shoot this video, I'm going to go in my living room and I'm just going to... I'm going to play some, like, fucking classical music in the background and I'm... And just nibble on everything. All right, man. Let's try the the world's greatest honey. Raw, unfiltered. It's It's clear as crystal. I have never seen honey. I know it's kind of getting keyed out. This is completely see-through. Honey we get here, raw honey. This looks like crystal, bro. Straight up crystal. I can't, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. All right, let's bust out a cracker. Just a little dip of Rooney. God, it's like molasses. It's so clear. My whole mouth warmed up. I've noticed that every time I put food in my mouth from here, from Italy, my whole mouth gets warm. Like it's just like trying to soak it in through my mouth. I've never tasted honey like that. That is extremely interesting, dude. That's the, it's the Lamborghini and Ferraris of uh, honey right there. I want to drink it. I just want to drink it. Okay, and I saved the best for last. These things. I've been eyeballing these things the whole damn video. Holy fucking Toledo tits. There hasn't been a single thing in here that I didn't like. Oh, that's right. We got the Nutella. I'm going to try the Nutella, too. I've got my fucking Canadian maple syrup right here. <laughs> right next to Italian food, man. This is great. This is awesome. It's like double packaged. That's nice. That's very convenient. But these are Italian truffles. Spray. Crunchy truffles. Oh, wow. They look, they look amazing. Look at this. There's icing in them. Look at the, the craftiness of that, man. The little... It looks like caramel swatch. I don't fucking know. I'm just going to eat it. Yep. Italians are fucking amazing. Yep. Italians know what the fuck they're doing. It's almost like... Oh my god. The foods that they make. They don't try to kill you. It's like the foods that people make in Italian. Or uh, Italy. I'm just fucking Italian. I'm so stupid. In Italy, they nurture you. I feel like everything that I've eaten has nurtured me. 
I know that sounds really fucking gay, but it's the truth. It's not over sweet. I'm not, I don't feel sick. It, every bite, my mouth is just... I've never felt this sensation before. I'm fu I'm confused, bro. I am confused. Mirko? Oh. Dude. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart for sending this, man. We got one more thing. The Nutella. Let's, let's give it a whirl. I, I just want to... I want to move to Italy, bro. Look at this, man. I've never seen Nutella package like this, man, but it's... Oh, it just... This glass. This is glass. Oh, my God. Mm. That does not taste like Nutella. That does not taste like Nutella, dude. At all, man. That that tastes like a completely different fucking substance. Mmm. Oh, whoa. I want you guys to call the Senate. Whatever. I don't know. The Food and Drug Administration. And tell them to go fucking suck dicks. Because I used to think America was great until I started trying foods from other countries. And uh, all I got to say is we're doing something very wrong. Very wrong with our food. Oh. All right, I'm going to put it on a cracker. I know you're not supposed to put this on a cracker. This is more for like olive oil and shit, but I don't give a fuck. That's not Nutella. That is not Nutella, dude. No. No. If Nutella tasted like this, I'd still be eating it. That's fucked in. That's crazy. Here. Let's dip one of these in there. Fuck me. Please. Please. God. I want this food for the rest of my life. Look, I don't know if the ingredients are different in Italy for Nutella, but this does not taste like Nutella. It doesn't. We have Nutella here in the States, and it ain't this shit. That is the creamiest, most delicious shit I've ever put in my mouth. Well, that does it for this video. Uh, I've still got my maple syrup, my Macintoshes. Dude, this food is, this food is great. And I'm seriously concerned as to what the fuck we're doing here in the States. I wish every single one of you guys could try these foods. I'm, I'm a huge eater. I love eating. I love, like, taking the time to taste and smell stuff. And I, this, is, this is a treat. This is a real treat. But I've said it a thousand times. I don't know what America's doing. I really don't know what America's doing. But it's, uh, it's not right. And I might just have to start ordering my food overseas, man, because this is, this is crazy. Mirko, man, I want to thank you for every single thing you have done for me, man. You have no idea how much respect, how much love, and how much my family thanks you for everything you do. Thank you for keeping this channel up and running, man. Along with everybody else, thank you guys so much for all of your support. We're kicking ass. We're dishing out videos. I'm actually enjoying myself. If you would like to send me a box from your country, the P.O. box is down in the description. Just send me a message, either in Discord or below this video, if you're going to send me something. That way I know what to look out for. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was insane. Now I'm going to get off here and eat every single fucking bit of it. I'm probably just going to drink the olive oil. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.